Hi there, thanks for returning here. We're having a look at a section on drawing a network diagram and this one specifically is drawing weighted graphs from a table. This is going to be kind of fun. So drawing weighted graphs from a table, there's our table over here. It's got A, B, C's and D's and it's got uh, weights down there. They might be four towns and distances apart. There could be a whole bunch of things. But let's uh, express them, let's see if we can uh, express it in a weighted graph from that table. So our headings are going to become our vertices. So we're going to have vertices A, B, C and D and we're trying to going to try and arrange them so that they're the right distances apart but it does get tricky. I think I'd rather go from a, from a uh, weighted graph back to a table but uh, anyway. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be brave here. Cell values, the, so the numbers in the cells there, they become edges or the weightings on the edges anyway. So here we have uh, our diagram. I've cut to the chase here. Here's one I prepared earlier. But we're going to double check and uh, give you confidence that uh, this is all in a reasonable arrangement. It might not be exactly to scale, but uh, give me a break here. But uh, let's have a look at the different information that is in the table and see if we've represented it in a weighted graph here, just quickly. So here, this cell here tells me that uh, A and B are both vertices and they are 18 apart. And, and we're going to have a spaghetti diagram here. But uh, that 18 is represented on that weighted edge there between A and B. And you have one over here as well of the same size, because our, on our table, if we go from B to A, we're going to be going the same distance, aren't we, if they're distances. So let's have a look at here. Now this indicates this cell here is between C, although I've written over it, and A. And it says it uh, should have a weighting of 10. So if we go down to our diagram, we have uh, an edge between A and C that is 10. Right there. And we have AD being 17. Let's see where we can spot that. It's actually inside there. It's one of the diagonals. The, join, the joining edge from A, vertice A, vertex A to uh, vertex D is one of the diagonals there. And that's 17 long. So if you, uh, I could continue here I guess, um, but let's have a look at one more. Um, C to D is supposed to be 8 here, C to D, and let's have a look, C to D is 8. So I, I think you'll agree, I hope you'll agree, that this diagram I prepared earlier is a good representation of the information in the table. So our headings, the, our A, B, C's and D's here, our headings for our columns and our rows, they became our vertices and our values in each of the cells, our number values in there, they became the edges or the lengths of the edges, the weightings on the edges. So that's a weighted graph from a table. Um, I hope that makes sense. It seems to make sense to me. But if you stare at it long enough, I'm sure it will. Thanks for listening. I hope you can uh, try one for yourself someday. And I'll see you next day, next time at uh, peterblakemass.com. A little ad time here.